to take a photo and crown our Mr. Filipinas Manhunt Male Supermodel 2024, Jordan San Juan. everyone. All right, thank you so much. And for our next appointment of the night. Please welcome our Mr. Pilipinas Man of the Year 2024. Anthony Cunningham. And may we now call on Mr. Filipina Supranational 2023, Johannes Rizler, to crown the new winner. Alright, congratulations Emerson. Now moving on to our appointment for the new Mr. Pilipinas International Ambassador 2024, Justine Ong.
May we call on Mr. Filipina Super National 2023 once again, Johannes Wisler. Please sash our new winner. Please welcome our Mr. Pilipinas Global 2024, Dom Gorilla. And may we call on Mr. Pilipinas Global 2023, John Ernest Tante. A big hand once again for Mr. Dom Corilla, our new Mr. Filipinas Global 2024. And last but not the least, please welcome our Mr. Filipinas Supranational 2024, none other than Brandon Espiritu. May we call on Mr. Supranational 2023, Johannes Wisler, to pass down his title. winners to come back on stage for a photo opportunity. Smile and wave boys, smile and wave. with your international competitions. And now, it's the ladies of the Filipino festival's turn to get their crowning moments. Please watch this.
welcome our Miss Eco Teen Philippines 2024, Hannah Uyan. Let's call on Miss Universe Philippines 2023 first runner-up, CJ Opiaza. Once again, a big round of applause, please, for our Miss Eco Teen Philippines 2024, Hannah Uyan. Next up, please welcome our Miss Eco International Philippines 2024, Chantal Elise Schmidt. Once again, may we please call on CJ Opiaza, the Miss Universe Philippines 2023 first runner-up. Chantal. Up next, please welcome our Miss Aura Philippines 2024, Isa de los Santos. And to crown Miss Isa de los Santos, may we call on stage Miss CJ Opiaza, Miss Universe Philippines 2023, first runner up. Congratulations once again, Isa de los Santos, for being crowned Miss Aura Philippines 2024. Next, may we please welcome our Miss Asia Pacific International Philippines 2024, Blessa Erica Figueroa. Once again, call on CJ Obeaza to crown our new winner.
Friends, bless her. At this point, everyone, let us all welcome our Miss Supranational Philippines 2024, Alethea Ambrosio. Philippines 2023 and Miss Supranational 2023 first runner-up Pauline Ameling. Round of applause once again for our Miss Supranational Philippines 2024, Alethea Ambrosio. And may we also request our 2024 The Miss Philippines winners to come back on stage for a photo opportunity. Best of luck to all of you. Once again, may we call on our kings, the Mr. Filipinas winners, to join our ladies here in front for a photo opportunity. Alright, thank you to all our winners of the Filipino Festival. Please head down the stage. And speaking of international competitions, we have one queen in particular who we are going to send off to compete for the Miss Charm crown. Everybody, please give a big hand to our Miss Charm Philippines, Miss Krishna Gravides.
As of today's glitz and glam aren't enough, here is one more queen who has served as a beacon of pride for all of us. Truly, it's been such a remarkable year for her. Let us all look back at the most shining moments of the one and only MMD. Marquez the Miss Universe Philippines. I am an award-winning actress. I'm a certified adrenaline junkie. I love creative direction. I have joined the Air Force Reservist. I actually graduated from psychology at De La Salle University and as well as entrepreneurship course from Harvard University Online. And more notably, I've been a lifelong advocate for individuals on the autism spectrum. I started my own foundation for my autism advocacy. I want to be the voice of millions of individuals on the autism spectrum that deserve to be celebrated, empowered, and given the right opportunities to live a fulfilled and purposeful life. Sungkitin ko ang mga bituin Para lang masilayan ka muli Kahit saan ika'y napapansin Ako'y napihang mo sa iyong mga ngiti Ikaw lang ang pagkandari na Ako ang pahalala sa'yo Ang nga sa iyong tatay na delikate sa Philippines. Michelle D. passionately advocates for autism acceptance and empowerment. Congratulations, and thank you for making a difference. Spirit of Carnival Award. This year, I am so very pleased to recognize Michelle D. representing the Philippines. We look forward to seeing you on a Carnival cruise ship in 2024 when you sail with us. All of us at Carnival are very proud of you. To be honest, I ain't gonna lie, you're the baddest, uh-huh. You're a goddess, I'll give everything I promise ya. Uh -huh. Loving your smile and style, mom and them body I can't deny. You got embrace when you walk down the aisle. Got a pretty face and you're so divine. Grab a young eat it. Run where you slip every time you slay it Like it can't mess it easy, girl I mean it And I hope that you feel it, yeah Once again ladies and gentlemen, let us give a big round of applause to Michelle Marcus D who is here with us today What a phenomenal woman MMD is, such an iconic journey Truly making her country proud, congrats once again and before we proceed any further, we want to take the time to recognize and thank all our wonderful sponsors whose generous support has made this event possible. Smiley, Kimans, Bingo Plus, Cream Silk, Buscopan Venus, Fairy, Sins, Fairy Skin Sunscreen, Jewelmer, Jojo Bragais, Avon, Nix Institute of Beauty, Icon Clinic, Hello Glow, Danielito's Home Kitchen and Malaya Cafe, CAD Clinic, Great Lengths Eye Color, Wooling, Hilton Manila Newport World Resorts, Zonrox Color Safe, Surge, Premier Drip, and Event Styling by Tay and Denja. Thank you so much and we appreciate all of you. And finally, without further ado, everyone, are you ready? Bea, are you ready? Yes, of course, Ralph, I am. Here we go. Hello, Filipinas. Mapuhay!
welcome to one of the most anticipated and most exciting events of the year. This is the Hello Philippines Mabuhay, the official presentation of the Miss Universe Philippines 2024. My name is Beatriz Luigi Gomez and I'm honored to be your host this afternoon. And my name is Ralph De Leon, co-hosting today's big event. Hi Bea and hi to all our distinguished guests, sponsors and media. Hello everyone, thank you all for being here today at the Hilton Hotel Manila, Newport World Resorts. We do have an incredible afternoon planned for you, filled with glamour, beauty and excitement. So sit back, relax and enjoy. That's right, so to begin, let's meet the officers of the Miss Universe Philippines under Empire Philippines. Please come up on stage as we call your names. The Empire Philippines and the Miss Universe Philippines advisors and council members, Mr. Joey Gilas, Mr. Jackie C. Aquino, Mr. Robbie Carmona, Attorney P.Y. Kaunan, Ms. Mafe Yunon Velasco, Attorney Margarita N. Gutierrez, Congressman Sam S. V. Verzosa, Congresswoman Richelle Singson, and the Empire Philippines and the Miss Universe Philippines officers, Mr. Daddy Cuevas, Mr. Borch Rojas, Mr. Paolo Arevalo, Ms. Mirza Sison, Mr. Sion Lim, Ms. Shamsi Supsup Lee, Mr. Albert Andrada, Ms. Leah Andrea Ramos, Attorney Nad Bronze, Ms. Mag Square, Dr. Eric Yapuanco, Ms. Vina Yapuanco, Mr. Mario Garcia, Mr. Voltaire Tayag, and Mr. Jonas Gafur. Ms. Crystal Jacinto. Thank you everyone, you may now take your seats. Now, please join us in welcoming the Empire Philippines Miss U and Miss Universe Philippines Executive Vice President, Mr. Walter Tayag for his welcoming message. Let's wait for them to get back to their seats. We give respect to our elders. <laughs> Mabuhay, universe, and magandang hapon, Filipinas. To our distinguished guests, our amazing sponsors, our wonderful accredited partners that are here today, and our ever-supportive media partners and friends, thank you for joining us this afternoon. First and foremost, the Miss Universe organization would like to express our deepest thanks to Kun An, 
to Raul Rocha Cantu, Olivia Kidoko, Marisho Ra Rocha, and the rest of the Miss Universe organization for continuing to entrust us with the Miss Universe franchise. The franchise is owned by Empire, Hold Empire PH Holdings. We're also very proud to acknowledge Olivia Kidoko, VP for Global Partnerships. She's the first Filipino to hold such an important role in the Miss Universe organization. You know, guys, as you know, securing the Miss Universe franchise has proven to be quite nerve-wracking for so many countries the past couple of years. The uncertainty reminded us not to take anything for granted and fueled us to prove that their trust is rightly placed. And the person singularly responsible for securing the Miss Universe franchise is our president, CEO, Jonas Gafud. He's a visionary leader who has made Miss Universe Philippines a reality. A reality that so many people, including myself, benefit from and sometimes take for granted or take advantage of. Like many visionary leaders, he sometimes finds himself being undermined and bashed unfairly. But he continues to stand confidently with truth on his side. No amount of money or connection stands a chance next to the passion and commitment he has demonstrated all these years for Miss Universe Philippines. That is a testament to his strength as a leader and humility as a human being. Let's please give a round of applause to Jonas Gafford. You know, Miss Universe Philippines was beset with business challenges posed by the pandemic at its infancy. But that was not a hindrance from realizing its innovative plans that would make a difference in the lives of people and in the industry. Miss Universe Philippines embraced digital platforms to highlight both the delegates, our country, and elevate pageantry. With this innovative spirit, Miss Universe Philippines has secured record sponsorship investments. Hi, guys. <laughs> we provide our partners with incredible success stories, all because of relevant and inspiring content for our shared audience. That's why we continually attract new sponsors and get renewals every year. In promoting tourism, we didn't just do postings of the slogans and of photos. Miss Universe Philippines and the delegates toured and visited Benguet, Bohol, Aklan, Palawan, Ilocos, Tacloban, Samar, to name a few. Through Miss Universe Philippines, songs and its artists have been popularized with songs like Magandang Dilag, Diwata, Kamahalan, Kulay, and Over the Universe. The tourism and, and runway video challenges showcase the world-class digital content creating skills of Filipinos throughout the country. Although the accredited partner system, a brainchild of Jonas, has been in place since the beginning, it has only been formalized in the past year. And by doing so, we have instilled a sense of responsibility and accountability to the APs, which safeguards the welfare of the delegates. The Miss Universe Philippines organization is also grateful, grateful for having the opportunity to help with worthwhile causes like Save the Children Philippines, Hope for Change, Autism Society Philippines. You see, Miss Universe Philippines doesn't just believe in women empowerment. We incorporate it 
in our pageant and in the delegate's journey. The first weeks of the pageant is dedicated to holding seminars and talks like mental health and financial literacy and trainings in media interviews and runway for all the delegates. Most importantly, we have produced phenomenal Miss Universe Philippines winners. All our winners have successful careers and continue to be role models beyond their reign. We salute you and we are so... I'm sorry. I got choked up because I really am so proud of the girls. Rabia Mateo, Beatriz Luigi Gomez, Celeste Cortezi, and Michelle Marquez D. <clears throat> They've shown that in Miss Universe Philippines, inclusivity isn't just a buzzword. They are the game changers that broke traditional ideas of what a beauty queen should be and inspired hope and courage for everyone and anyone to be who they are. <laughs> What's a pageant without a quote from Mother Teresa, right? <laughs> she said, I alone can't change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. As the ripples that the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 edition have already started to fan out and will continue to do so until our finals on May 22. Ripples started in over 55, 60 places in various provinces, cities, towns, and even Filipino communities from other countries. And yes, guys, we heard you. Because we have such an amazing lineup of sponsors this year, it means you can expect a show and a production that will surely put a smile on every pageant fan. Us included. Today is about the 55 delegates who have worked so hard to get to the nationals. Their reason or purpose varies, but one thing's for sure. There's only one crown and only one dream will come true. But we ask you, whoever emerges as the winner, I hope at the end we can unite to support, to support her all the way to Mexico City. Let us start this edition with love and end it also with love. Root as hard as you want. Cheer strongly to your heart's content for your favorites. But always remember to be kind. If you're truly a pageant fan that supports empowering women, then you will join us in the celebration of love for all. Stronger than ever on its fifth year, Miss Universe Philippines is a pageant that is built on a shared passion of empowering Filipinas, a love for country, strengthened by adversity, but always guided with heart, gratitude, and integrity. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Sir Voltaire, for those wonderful words of inspiration that really brought me to tears. Once again, let's give him a big round of applause, everyone. As we head into the most exciting part of the day, let's all see this special video highlighting the past four years of Miss Universe Philippines and giving us a sneak peek at who might be the next queen. Let's all watch this. Is this really what you meant for us? I show
Isn't that fantastic, everybody? It's truly an exciting time for Miss Universe Philippines. Now, here is the most anticipated part of the day. The reason why we're all here to see Filipina beauty from the north, south, east, west, wherever you are from the globe, as long as you are a Filipina. I've seen them backstage, guys. And they look stunning. That's so true, Ralph. Each delegate represents the beauty and diversity of the Philippines. And we are so pumped for you to meet them. So here they are. Let us give them a big round of applause, the delegates of Miss Universe Philippines 2024. Miss Alpay. She is a biology graduate. Miss Universe Philippines Alpay is Elaine Bernales. She is a biology graduate and a rookie in the industry. But she wants to prove her worth by being on Miss Universe Philippines. Miss Angeles. Miss Universe Philippines Angeles is Joanna Marie Thornley. She is a fashion design student and she hopes to have her own fashion line in the future. Miss 
Universe Philippines Australia. Miss Universe Philippines Australia is Kimberly Street. She is a finance accounting graduate, a full-time model, and an entrepreneur. Universe Philippines, Bacolod. Miss Universe Philippines, Bacolod is Yvonne Katamko. She is taking up a Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. Miss Universe Philippines, Bacor. Miss Universe Philippines, Bacor is Victoria Velasquez Vincent. He has a Master's in Architecture and Heritage Conservation. Universe Philippines, Baguio. Miss Universe Philippines, Baguio is Justine Tara Valencia. She is a cum laude graduate of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. Miss Universe Philippines, Bantayan Island. Miss Universe Philippines, Bantayan Island is Jovel Dukay. She is a true-blooded island girl and a licensed med medical doctor. Miss Universe Philippines, Batangas. Miss Universe Philippines, Batangas is Maristela Ilagan La. She is a BSBA major in Marketing Management in Magna Cum Laude and an SK Counselor. Miss Universe Philippines, Bohol. Miss Universe Philippines, Bohol is Bianca Gaviola. She is a visual artist who has been painting for 15 years. Miss Universe Philippines, Bukit Nun. Miss Universe Philippines Bukid Nun is Natasha Jane Bahuyo. She is a BS Biology major in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology fourth year. Miss 
Universe Philippines, Bulacan. Miss Universe Philippines Bulacan is Chelsea Manalo. She is a tourism college graduate, model, and advocate for the youth. Miss Universe Philippines Kabanatuan. Miss Universe Philippines Kabanatuan is Daniela Villa. She is taking a Bachelor of Tourism Management at Dr. Gloria Laxon Foundation. Miss Universe Philippines, Cagayan de Oro. Miss Universe Philippines, Cagayan de Oro is Lynn Irene Lomongo. She is a transformational and fearless woman ready to strive confidently. And she is also a freshman college student. Miss Universe Philippines, Kainta. Miss Universe Philippines, Kainta, Stacy Gabriel. She is an actor, mental health advocate, and founder of a sustainable swimwear brand. Miss Universe Philippines, Kamigin. Miss Universe Philippines, Kamigin is Rethiana Rosa. She is an entrepreneur and a model. Miss Universe Philippines, Cavite. Miss Universe Philippines, Cavite is Dia Mate. She is a singer, songwriter, and music producer. Miss Universe Philippines, Cebu. Miss Universe Philippines, Cebu is Chris Tiffany Hanson. She is a full-blooded Cebuana and travel show host and public servant. Miss Universe Philippines, Davao City. Miss 
Miss Universe Philippines Davao City is Maria Isabel Pelayo. She is passionate about having an active lifestyle and proud to represent her city. Miss Universe Philippines, Davao Province. Miss Universe Philippines, Davao Province is Joanna Puyud Yulo. She is a solo parent of two, a survivor, an advocate, and a servant. Miss Universe Philippines, Florida. Miss Universe Philippines, Florida is Matea Mahal Smith. She is studying psychology on the pre-med track with hopes to become a trauma surgeon. Miss Universe Philippines, Hawaii. Miss Universe Philippines, Hawaii is Patricia Bianca Tapia. She loves to surf and was born with a hearing impairment. Miss Universe Philippines, Iloilo City. Miss Universe Philippines, Iloilo City is Alexi Brooks. She is a marketing student in NU Manila, model and former Philippine national athlete. Miss Universe Philippines, Kanaga. Miss Universe Philippines, Kanaga is Natasha Jung. She is a mass communication student planning for major in broadcasting. Universe Philippines, Laguna. Miss Universe Philippines, Laguna is Alexandra May Rosales. She is a businesswoman and owner of Alaga and Alaga Vet to Go. Miss Universe Philippines, Leyte. Miss Universe Philippines, Leyte is Angel Rose Tambal. She is a licensed civil engineer and a passionate singer and businesswoman. Miss 
Universe Philippines Lokpan. Miss Universe Philippines Lukban is Ricky May de la Peña. She is, she is a fashion, she is a fashionista and uses her love for fashion in supporting foundations close to her heart. Miss Universe Philippines Mandawe. Miss Universe Philippines Mandawe is Victoria Leslie Ingram. She is a registered nurse who collaborated with Mandawe City in the implementation of universal health care. Miss Universe Philippines, Manila. Miss Universe Philippines, Manila is Isabel Makuha. She is a real estate management student. Miss Universe Philippines, Mariveles. Miss Universe Philippines, Mariveles is L. Holman. She is a professional model, sportscaster, and events host. Miss Universe Philippines, Miami. Miss Universe Philippines, Miami is Mary Yasso. She is a real estate powerhouse in Miami and a Manila girl in Miami and a Miami girl in Manila. Miss Universe Philippines, Nike. Miss Universe Philippines, Nike is Mary Rose Giral. She is a warrior of the fields and seas rising to the universe. Miss Universe Philippines, Northern California. Miss Universe Philippines, Northern California is Kayla Jean Carter. She is an international personality. Miss Universe Philippines, Nueva Ecija. Miss Universe Philippines, Nueva Ecija is Maika Kabling Martinez. Grace and poise captivating hearts with their radiant charm and confidence. <laughs> Miss 
Miss Universe Philippines Occidental Mindoro. Miss Universe Philippines Occidental Mindoro is Zoleil Melian Tanyo. She, is, she has a proud Mindawenya who isn't afraid to take risks. Miss Universe Philippines Pagadian City. Miss Universe Philippines Pagadian City is Hershey, May Sin. She is an epilepsy warrior to prove that sickness isn't a hindrance but a catalyst for growth. Miss Universe Philippines Palawan. Miss Universe Philippines Palawan is a Raven Doctor. She is an island girl who grew up in a tourist spot destination in Palawan. Miss Universe Philippines Pampanga. Miss Universe Philippines Pampanga is Cyril Bayumo. Ako Pampangan who advocates the for the community and a fashion model. Miss Universe Philippines Pangasinan. Miss Universe Philippines Pangasinan is Grace Jenea Chua Lumagi. She is an advocate and member. A tourism ambassador. Miss Universe Philippines Pasig. Miss Universe Philippines Pasig and Selena Alexis Antonio Reyes. She's a 38-year-old mom of two, former preschool teacher, athlete, and businesswoman. Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon City. Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon City is Lorraine Ojimba. She is a 25-year-old Nigerian Filipina who advocates for women empowerment. Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon Province. Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon Province is Maria Adisa Manalo. She built a company at the age of 21 and now employs 8,000 Filipinos. Miss Universe Philippines, Quirino.
Miss Universe Philippines Quirino is Stephanie Faye Herona. She lived in three major islands of the Philippines, from Luzon, Visayas, to Mindanao. Miss Universe Philippines, San Pablo, Laguna. Miss Universe Philippines, San Pablo, Laguna is Eunice B. Deza. She is 23 years old and full of dreams. Universe Philippines, Sharigao. This Universe Philippines, Sharigao is Jochelle de Ocampo. She was born in a very simple family, independent and a hardworking person. Universe Philippines, Southern California. Miss Universe Philippines, Southern California is Janet Lynn Hammond. She is a full time adventurer, not only in travel, but in the things she pursues as an immigrant, entrepreneur, and now a married woman. Universe Philippines, Sydney. Miss Universe Philippines, Sydney is Janina Lui. She is an audit analyst and a black belt taekwondo athlete. Miss Universe Philippines, Tacloban. Miss Universe Philippines, Tacloban is Tamara Osier. She is a graduating accountancy student from the University of the Philippines, Tacloban. Miss Universe Philippines, the gig. Miss Universe Philippines, the gig is Christy Lynn McGarry. She is a multifaceted woman and is a host and TV personality. Miss Universe Philippines, Talisay City. Miss Universe Philippines, Talisay City is Mary Josephine Poske. She is an aviation enthusiast and provinciana. Miss Universe Philippines, Toledo City. Miss Universe Philippines, Toledo City is Kim, Irish Placebe. She is a 
Toledona, strengthened by time. Miss Universe Philippines, Togegarao. Miss Universe Philippines Togegarao is Zaira May Cabalza. She is the first ever representative of Togegarao City in the Miss Universe Philippines pageant. Universe Philippines, United Kingdom. Miss Universe Philippines, United Kingdom is Christina de la Cruz Cha. She is a global Filipina that is proud to sell luxury property around the world. Miss Universe Philippines, Virginia. Miss Universe Philippines, Virginia is Denise Nicole Mababang Laog, Yuwiko. She is passionate about making a difference. Miss Universe Philippines, Washington. Miss Universe Philippines Washington is Kiara Landon. She is a 23-year-old registered nurse who secretly loves to play video games. Miss Universe Philippines Zambales. Miss Universe Philippines Zambales is, is Anita Rose Gomez. She is 22 years old and an advocate of Para Kay Juan at Juan. Once again, may we call on stage the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 delegates. Let's give them a big, big round of applause. Sa ganda Ang nagalay 
Once again, a big round of applause for our Miss Universe Philippines 2024 delegates. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, don't they all look lovely? But wait, we have one more special announcement to make, so please watch this. We actually created the products for our patients in the clinic and the feedback was great so we saw the opportunity to venture out and expand the business further. Personally, I'm a skincare enthusiast and I know my way around active ingredients since I'm a registered pharmacist. Expertly formulated to deliver real results, our brand commits to promote a sense of collective confidence that lets one look good and even feel better. Our products include skillfully developed facial serums line to target every skin concern, whitening staples for the face and body, and the ultimate sun protection with our own sunscreen. These products are FDA approved, halal certified, and safe on the skin. Of course, our MUPH delegates need to have body and skincare products to make them look and feel their best on stage. Good thing we found our way to better skin with Kimans. Their products truly epitomize beauty and luxury, offering a comprehensive range of treatments that pamper and nourish the skin. They are scientifically and expertly formulated and proudly Filipino made, with a commitment to using high quality ingredients and innovative formulations. Kimans caters to diverse skin needs and preferences, delivering visible results. This is exactly why we have decided to forge a stronger partnership with them and make them our co-presenter for this year. To know more about Kimans and this beautiful collaboration, here are Kimans CEO, Dr. Eric Yapuanco, Kimans COO, Ms. Vina Yapuanco, and Kimans General Manager, Ms. Lerma Santa Cruz. To our esteemed board of directors and council members of the Miss Universe Philippines, um, to our media friends who are here in full force today, our APs from different parts of the Philippines, and I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the presence of our um, brand ambassadors, of course, our world-class beauty queens, Miss Michelle D., and Ms. Pauline Amelinx, hi. To everyone here today and those watching online, good afternoon, everyone. We at Keymans 
are beyond thrilled to have taken this partnership with Miss Universe Philippines to a whole new level. Since our market launched in 2021, Keymans has been faithful to its commitment to delivering, to delivering Filipinos world-class products. And, um, and, and, you know, key to this commitment is to ensure that each girl would actually be given or will be assisted in your journey towards better skin. And, um, you know, we, we th this is a celebration of beauty. And um, we actually are very happy and proud to be partnering with Miss Universe Philippines. And we are grateful to Mario Garcia, Voltaire Tayag, and Jonas Gafford for giving us this opportunity to be this year's co-presenter. So what better way to put the word out there? than to forge this partnership with Miss Universe Philippines. And this partnership is anchored on our shared commitment to diversity, ingenuity, empowerment, and beauty that transcends race, gender, race, and color. So basically, Kimans will be the girl's partner in their journey towards achieving better skin. As this year's co-presenter, we are happy to share that the search is on for the next phase of the brand. So good luck, ladies. And lastly, just as the millions of pageant fans all over the Philippines and the universe, we can't wait and we look forward, we eagerly await to witness the girls' journey in this year's Miss Universe Philippines. And with that, thank you and good afternoon once again. Thank you very much for that message, Miss Lerma Santa Cruz. And thank you, Keemans, for showing the Miss Universe Philippines and our queens and delegates a whole lot of love. Here are some gifts for our delegates, so please remain on stage for a photo opportunity. again Kimans. Of course this day would not be complete without a message from our reigning Miss Universe Philippines. Everyone let's welcome Michelle Marquez D. Hello Filipinas. Wow. I noticed one thing today. Well amongst that I'm surrounded by such beautiful and well-deserved delegates. But I did notice na walang Miss Makati. 
which I represented for two years straight. So I officially announced myself as Miss Makati 2022 and 2023. All jokes aside, though, I do have immense gratitude for my municipality for supporting me. Of course, I do love Makati City, but that's not why we're here. I was just sitting and I was telling Mama J, I mean, Sir Jonas Gafood, that this is how it feels to be in the audience. Because, of course, two years in a row, I know exactly how it feels like to be in your shoes. Of course, Pauline Amelings also knows that feeling. And it's never hard. I mean, it's never easy, rather. It's never easy to put yourself out there, throw yourself into the scrutiny that the media can subject us to. But if there's anything that helped me to get through both of my journeys is to really know my core, know my vision, know what I'm fighting for. Of course, the crown, the recognition, the exposure, those are all great things and I'm very blessed. All of us are very blessed to have received that, but without a true purpose, without something burning inside of you that'll give you the energy to really succeed, to really become the face of a brand such as Miss Universe, it takes more than beauty. But it, and it takes more than brains, but it really takes a pure heart. So if you all know your intentions, if you know your vision is clear, then no one can really face you. Of course, this is just the start of a very long journey, but I promise you th that time will really fly so very fast. Just like that, it'll feel like you're already in Moa Arena. It'll all feel like a dream, but if there's anything I must give you is to really just enjoy the journey because you really won't find sisters such as the person right next to you or somebody sharing the stage with you. You will create long-lasting relationships, so cherish that. Of course, it takes a village, of course, to build a queen fit for the Miss Universe stage. I might be the only one standing here with this. Well, we all have sashes now, don't we? But I did have my core team that really helped me get to where I am. So don't forget to always move with a grateful heart. Always make sure to give credit where credit is due. I have the utmost gratitude, of course, to the Miss Universe organization that helped me. My core team, I have Mama Ian Mendahar over there. I had BDQ&A. I had my fashion designers, my stylist, Ryuji Shumitsu, of course, Mark Baumgartner with his amazing iconic black gown, Michael Barassi as well. I just wanted to put that out there. Thank you so much for helping me get to where I am. I owe this all to all of you. Of course, my GMA Sparkle Management as well. Thank you so much. And to all of the delegates here, I wish you nothing but the best. We have so many exciting things in store for all of you. All look amazing. Walang <laughs> tapon. And I'm sure the judges this year will have such a hard time. Yeah, Ayan, congratulations once again. Thank you so much for letting me say a few words. And I hope you all enjoyed the show. Mabuhay. Thank you very much to our reigning Miss Universe Philippines, Michelle Marquez D. Thank you for that wonderful message and for inspiring all of us. Now let us welcome back Sir Voltaire Tayag to the stage to share a short message on behalf of the Miss Universe Philippines organization. Guys, I'm done with my message. <laughs> we are here now for questions. <laughs> Yes. Hindi pageant questions, ha, guys? <laughs> uh, Diane? May we invite members of the media to please come up to the front? Hi, Voltaire. Congratulations, Hi, ladies. You all look so beautiful. It's so exciting. Congrats to Jonas for a great presentation. So I wanted to ask, so this is the day that it all begins. Voltaire, can you give us a little preview of what is to come? What are they going to be doing? What are some of the mo more exciting things that we can look forward to? And when is the finals? 
Well, right now, what we didn't tell you is that we're going to be cutting this group. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wanted to tell them that, we're gonna cut, that we were going to cut them in half today. <laughs> joke, no? Oh, the joke lang, ba? Just so that they're not nervous, so, so that they know that we're a, a great team to work with. No, but the first thing is, during the first month, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of shoots for, for the brands. We're also going to be... Oh, hello, VVV. <laughs> Sir V and VVV. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of shoots for the brands and the sponsors. And then also, like I said earlier, we're going to be doing a lot of those uh, seminars and talks and trainings. So you can look forward to that. So we have media training, we have runway training, we have um, personality, Q&A. We also have uh, social, uh, no, financial literacy. They're also going to be exposed to the advocacies that we're going to be uh, uh, pursuing and then after that we're also going to have and you can expect they're still in the works but we're gonna be going to some provinces and we're definitely gonna be going out and touring and doing a lot more uh, showing off the Philippines swimsuit competition will be in the beach in uh, obviously yeah, but well there will be photo also. shoots <laughs> okay that's my one question Hi, Sir Voltaire. I have a question. Um, you know, congratulations for, for to you and the entire organization for assembling this 55 beautiful women beside you right in front of us. I want to ask you because this, I think this is the, the year where we started implementing the AP system seriously. That's why we were able to come out with such a stellar batch of contestants this year. You know, the, Correct me if I'm wrong, because I had this impression that the reason, partly, part, partly the reason why we were able to assemble this kind of quality contestants is because of the AP system through its appointment or the, or the pa provincial pageant. So uh, I wonder, for next year, would, um, would this kind of appoint, appointment system still be happening? For, the, for all the APs who will be joining this year? Or would you require all the APs to stage a provincial pageant starting next year? <laughs> I can't see who that is. So let me first correct that and clarify. There's al there have always been APs from the very beginning of Miss Universe Philippines. This year is the first time that it was actually formalized. And we actually have people. The vision has always been to have this. Because we wanted to make sure that the pageant industry has relied so much on word of mouth. You know, like, sinong kilala? And who's, who's the one who's doing these pageants in, in a particular province? But we wanted to really professionalize it. We wanted to elevate it. And by giving the people, the APs, that responsibility, they're now accountable. And then the people who are there, they're also invested. That's why you have here today such a high quality of women, of delegates, because each region is so invested. Now, whether it's going to be somebody who wins in a regional pageant or who's appointed, that's up to the AP. And the reason for that, sometimes... It's financial, it's business, and sometimes you can't have a pageant in every region or like in a municip municipality every year because you're going to run out of girls. <laughs> it's as simple as that. But you should never look at it from a point of view of somebody who wins a difficult region has an advantage over somebody who was appointed. Or, so, or do not ever discount the fact that somebody was appointed and don't think that they're not deserving. Everyone who is here today, whether they've won through their regionals or they've been appointed, is equally strong and equally has a chance to win Miss Universe Philippines. Can I ask, can I ask a follow-up question? Yes. Are, so re, with that said, so let's say, Shemper, only one title at stake this year. So what if, the, so what if some of the girls here, I'm sorry, moving ahead, want to join next year, so they will have to go through the AP. I'm sorry? You, they will have to go through the yes. pageant. Yes, the procedure, the process is going to be the same. Okay, thank you very much.
And you have to remember, even if they get married, they have kids, they can still join. <laughs> There's no such thing as uh, getting over age anymore. Ay, sino ba yung titignan ko dito? Hi, Sir Voltaire. Hi, Louise. <laughs> First of all, congratulations for this incredible edition of His Universe Philippines. And um, I just want to comment that, you know, for the past few years, every single time Miss Universe Philippines keeps on getting better. And of course, uh, the caliber of girls this year, I think it's really one of the best batches ever. So, <laughs> so taking into consideration that you have so many quality girls, what are some of the specific uh, qualities and qualifications that the organization is looking for in their next title holder? Well, there's never really any specific, if you're thinking about who's going to be the winner or what are we looking for in a winner, there's never really something that's that specific. We always look for somebody who's going to shine throughout the pageant, who's going to shine on that night, the one who has that star quality. You can never deny that woman that evening when she shines. And at the same time, one thing that I want to emphasize is we, as an organization, don't have the power to choose. We may have a wish list, we may want somebody who's like this, but at the end of the day, it's always up to the judges. Now, some people may, you know, like, hmm, or whatever, but we stand by and we, we, you know, we know what we do and the integrity that we have is something that we stand by and that we're very proud of. Uh, but one thing that I really want to say is that to all of the girls, to all of the women, I want you to go through this journey with a grateful heart, but also with a very kind soul. Don't, only, you know, like, don't just be nice to the board or to us or to, the, to some of the people that you think are in high positions. Be kind to every single person that helps you, from your glam team to the people that help you open the door, because every single person counts. And that's the message that Miss Universe Philippines has always tried to tell all of the delegates that come through this pageant. And I do hope that you come away not just empowered, but also kinder and more loving. Thank you so much and best of luck, girls. Hello, Sir Voltaire. First, congratulations for the wonderful presentation. And of course, to lovely girls na nandito ngayon. Um, and also, I would like to take this opportunity kasi sobrang ganda pala talang accredited partners. Like, ang daming natulong sa kanila even before and also mas madaming opportunity rin sa mga girls. But the question that I would like to ask po, um, since like 55 girls again, parang hirap mag-cut. So, ano po kayang magiging, um, do we have, are we going to expect like mga ch challenges and also mga top, 50, top 40, top 20 or what po? Thank you. No, we're definitely still going to have a bunch of the challenges that are going to be administered or, you know, are going to be under Miss Universe Philippines. Um, along the way, it, this is also our first year to handle 55 amazing women and all of them the entire Philippines is watching every single move so we know that we don't look at it as pressure we are stepping up our game this year and from 38 last year we have 55 so Jonas ready na ba yung mga pack lunches <laughs> but you know in every competition at the end of the day we need we have one winner, but along the way, we'll, we'll, we'll fill you in. Thank you so much, sir, and congratulations. Good afternoon, and buhay. Ethan Conception from Manila Standard. Hello, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> one very good thing about uh, Miss Universe Philippines organization is uh, you're able to tap different uh, sectors of the society, especially the needy ones. So for this particular edition, <laughs> What advocacy would you like to center in, or uh, do you still want to promote? Well, we were going to announce this later on, but I, I think you saw that our theme is the love for all. So this year, what we're going to be doing, um, glad you asked it, so I might as well say it. We, ha we will be dividing the women into a group of eight. 
So each of them will be uh, doing something either for the love for environment, love for culture, love for migrant workers, love for women and children, love for... Help me out. Huh? LGBTQIA, kasama ako dun. <laughs> yes, the creative industry. So all of those, and pets. Wala akong pets. Wala akong pet. <laughs> so we're, we're going to be uh, asking the groups, the girls will be, will be grouped together. And they will work together with an organization pertaining to that particular theme. So it's not just one that will benefit this year. There's going to be eight. So it's going to be an amazing year. And of course, this is all going to be documented so that it's going to inspire more people. And, you know, it's about time that we stop limiting ourselves. Because, you know, Miss Universe Philippines, we're always talking about one advocacy or two advocacies. Nobody ever said that we can't do eight. So this year, we're going to do that. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Walter. No, uh, here for OPMB Worldwide. Okay, as hello, po. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> as director for communication of Miss Universe of the most na uh, prestigious national pageant in the country, how will you describe the Miss Universe Philippines landscape in the last five years? Well, the Miss Universe Philippines started out in a very difficult position. But because we're surrounded by people who have a burning passion for pageantry and for really, for excellence and for the women, we couldn't go wrong. And I think that every single year, we've proven and shown to everyone that what we're doing it's not something that's just for the organization, that we've grown, that we've grown so much that now, on our fifth year, we have 55 amazing women, and that every single person here, can you imagine the effect that they have on all those young boys and girls all over their communities, all over their towns, that they're gonna spark this change, this hope. And that's something that's very intangible. And that's something that Miss Universe Philippines is very proud of. And the landscape is not just about Miss Universe Philippines. We know that Miss Universe Philippines has changed the landscape of pageantry in general. And that's something that we will continue to do and we will continue to celebrate. Thank, thank you. An impromptu Q and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are we all good? Thank you so much. Guys, one of my favorites. <laughs> thank you very much, Sir Voltaire, for those enlightening responses. And there you have it, folks. Thank you all for joining us tonight for Hello Philippines, Mabuhay the official presentation of the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 delegates. Again, my name is Ralph. And of course, we hope that you had as much fun as we did because I'm sure we're all excited for the upcoming Miss Universe Philippines competition. Remember, we've only just begun. And again, I'm Beatrice Gomez. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone, everyone. And, and Mabuha!